Heels about shoulder width, shoulders right where they're at. I want you to lay this relaxed, bring that right knee up, and I want you to droop it, drape it, lay it over the left side of your body, and just hold it. Just relax, don't push, don't pull, but I call it tractive stretch, I don't know if that's a word, but it's like traction, and keep in mind, for a stretch to be good, it has to be held for two to three minutes. Uh, muscle has a tendency to, if you pull it quickly, pull it out, it pops back. Pull it out, it pops back. You gotta pull it out long enough and hold it. Let it adapt, let it elongate. So we're gonna hold it. I'm not gonna hold it that long for this video to eat up too much time, but you wanna hold that. Get a stretch through your piriformis, through your IT band, through your sciatic nerve. I don't know if you can stretch the nerve, but you stretch everything around it. You're stretching your back, your gluteus medius maximus. It's a great stretch. And let's take it, hold it there for two or three minutes, and then we're going to take it to the other side. Same thing. Nice and stretch out, bring up your right knee and drape it over the left side of your body. I have prosthetic hips, both hip sockets were amputated about 10 years ago. And this stretch, I don't know if my doctor would like it much, but it sure helps with my activities. Stretch it out, same thing, don't push, don't pull, remember. You pull it shortly, fast, and it pops back. That's a ballistic stretch. We don't want that one static. Pull it out, elongate it, and hold it for two to three minutes. Oh, this feels so good. And stretch. There's two ways you can do it. You can go over and put your knee there and pull away, or you can attach your shoulder and then let your leg pull an attractive stretch.